you all are the blessedness of the Father. To God be the glory. I love you all so, so very much. Right. So I'm here today just to bring uh, a word onto the body. Uh, and it's basically in two parts. So this word is in two parts, but they are both. <laughs> they both go the same. Yes, they both go the same. They're both what? They go the same. So it's a place where, you know, uh, I'm going to share, go on to the first part. And I'm going to share the first part with uh, a, a screenshot. So here is what I believe I was shown in the spirit. You know, there was I was just going for a walk. I was minding my own business. <laughs> and the father said, hey, come outside, you know, and look up. And I, I was like, OK, you know, we've been sharing the word and Jesus lifted up his eyes. So this is a dimension. Like I said, the word is for everybody who has been obedient to the father. So like I said, there is a realm called what? Jesus lifted up his eyes, lifting up your eyes. It's it's in the scripture. Abraham lifted up his eyes. You know, David, I believe David, Jesus too did it. So there is always a lifting up of the eyes. So I was basically just minding my own business. <laughs> and the father said, hey, come out and look up. And in doing so, this was what the father showed me. And this is what was shown in the heavens. So here it is. Now, as you can see on the screen, I'm just going to put my mouse to it. There, I believe, is just like, uh, so where every time the father shows this, I believe this is an angel. So it's an angel because I said they come in different realms. The Bible tells us in the book of Revelation, there is an angel in the what? In the clouds. So I thank God for that dimension. So this here represented an angel. But then when the revelation came, it was in the manifestation like a rocket. Yes, I'm sure a lot of us have seen rockets before, whether in cartoons, whether in the movies, or you know when NASA launches rockets. And what happens when they launch rockets? There is always a flame behind the rocket. So as you can see in that dimension, can you see? It was going at a speed. And look at what was coming right behind it. Can you see it? It was going at a, it was absolutely fast, like absolutely fast. So this was where the father is helping each and every one of us to understand. So that's the revelation, not that the cloud was moving fast. <laughs> so I want, to, I want to point that out very clearly. So it's a place where the father is saying, in this hour, I am bringing acceleration to the things that you have been doing. So for a lot of you, you have been waiting to get married for a lot of you you've been doing the ministry for a lot of you you have been what you have been sowing the seed for a lot of you you've started a business for a lot of you you know you've basically you've basically started the business you've basically began to you know move the business in a dimension for a lot of you is about your job your career for a lot of you it's about moving from where you are to the place where the lord needs you and he's saying in this hour that I am what? Bringing acceleration to those things. So everything that was supposed to what? Be delayed in time. He says, I am redeeming time for what? The days are evil. So he's redeeming time and is accelerating everything that what? That concerns you in this hour. So I'm going to read a dimension from the book of John chapter six. I love this so very much because a lot of people, you know, sometimes we read the word and, you know, it, it takes the grace of God to be able to understand it, <laughs> to God be the glory. So here it is. The Bible says in John chapter six and verse 19, it says, when they had rowed about three or four miles, they saw Jesus approaching the boat, walking on water and they were what? They were frightened. And he said to them, it is I, don't be afraid they were willing to take him into the boat and immediately the boat reached the shore where they were heading look at what the bible declares it says that was they were going to the other side right and they said they had rowed about three four miles and then jesus walking on water came and joined them and he said do not be afraid it is i and they were willing to take him on the boat. And as soon as Jesus stepped into the boat, the Bible says immediately. <laughs> so the Bible didn't tell us how, how, how far out they were. They could have been 10 miles. They could have been 20 miles. They could have been 50 miles. But the Bible says immediately Jesus stepped onto the boat. Immediately that boat reached the shore where they were headed. Can I give you a revelation of what that means? Yes. Now you're about to travel, right? You stepped into 
to the plane and they said this is an eight hour flight and as soon as you got on the plane the doors were shut it, as soon as the, you sat on <laughs> you know it's like you sat on the on the seats the plane took off and as soon as it took off they said now we're going to land in about 20 minutes and you're wondering where's the rest of the seven hours <laughs> and 40 minutes you know and that is exactly what happened here immediately so now you begin to see it immediately you got married immediately the business began to flourish immediately you know the seed began to sprout immediately the ministry began to grow forth immediately everything that the father has intended to do immediately it was done can you see it this is the dimension of what is shown on the screen the acceleration you see the rocket and the flame so he's saying here i'm doing things ever so quickly there is another dimension of this. The Bible says, you know, uh, 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 it says in Revelation chapter, I believe chapter 10, and it says, and there shall be what? No more delay. Can you see it? There shall be no more delay because everything is going to happen so fast. This is what it says in the book of Amos chapter 9 and in verse what? In verse 11, I believe in the message translation. And it says, things are going to happen so fast, your head is going to begin to swim. That means the things that are going to be happening for you, you've been waiting for the finances, immediately it came. You've been waiting to basically move to another city or another country, immediately it happened. You know, no delay concerning it. We also see this dimension in the book of Isaiah, uh, you know, first Kings, and I believe first Kings and chapter uh, chapter 18, I believe it is. Remember the story of Elijah and Ahab. Yes. And he says that what? I can hear the sound of abundance of rain. And he said to Ahab, get on your chariot and begin to what? And begin to move. And do you know what eventually happened? The Bible says, and the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah. Can you see it? And he says, the power in, let's read it together. In 1 Kings chapter 18 and verse 46, from verse 45, it says, Meanwhile, the sky grew black with clouds. The wind rose. A heavy rain started falling, and Ahab rode up to Jezreel. And it says, The power of the Lord came on Elijah, tucking his cloak into his belt. He ran ahead of Ahab all the way to what? Jezreel. So you can see, <laughs> Ahab was probably on his horse and his chariot. But look at the power that came upon Elijah to run faster than a horse. So you can begin to see it. This is where the father is helping you to understand that my power is resting upon you to accelerate you in everything that I have called you to do. Can you see it? So rejoice, but I say rejoice. That, what, that, uh, that which has taken so long is now happening so quickly. Because you know why? Jesus said, do not be afraid. It is I. He has come to step into the situation. He has come to step into it. So what seemed like it was confusion, it was chaos. Now he's bringing clarity and acceleration to it so that you can move quickly into what he has ordained for you. Because you've been waiting a long time. You know, the vision <laughs> is just write it down, you know, write it down. You've been writing it down, but now it's about to what? It's about to bring it into what? Manifestation. Now, that is the first part. This is the second part. So I was basically just resting. Uh, you know, I was just resting. I was about to just, uh, you know, just sleep, basically. And all of a sudden, the Lord basically, I was seeing. So this is the vision. I was seeing a field. And the field, it was absolutely beautiful. The field, it seemed like the field was basically fruitful. There was, you know, there was, the field was flourishing. Let's put it that way. And all of a sudden, I just began to see the glory of the Lord upon that field. It, there was so much glory upon that field. It was absolutely beautiful. And the description of that in itself that I was given is Genesis chapter 27 and verse 27. Remember when uh, Jacob went to steal the blessings of who? The blessings of uh, uh, Esau. But then, you know, uh, this is what the word that was, that uh, Isaac spoke unto, you know, he was thinking it was Esau, not understanding that it was Jacob. But because Jacob was pretending, he said to him in verse 27, so he went and kissed him when Isaac caught, he said he went and he kissed him. When Isaac caught the smell of his clothes, he blessed him and said, ah, the smell of my son is like the smell of a field. The Lord has what? Has blessed. May God give you heaven's dew and earth's riches and abundance of grain and new wine. Can you see it? So in that, in that dimension, 
This is what the Father is saying. Everything that you have been doing, every platform that you've been on, that you've been, that you have established in which you're working on, your business, your career, your job, everything in which you have been establishing with your hands, my glory is resting upon it in this hour. It's not by power, it is not by might, but completely by the glory of the Lord. So you can see in that dimension, this is the glory of Abba Father. And he's saying, my glory is resting on it. And where did we see this in the scripture? You know, the Bible tells us that in the new Jerusalem, according to Revelation chapter 21, I believe there about, it says that what? The, the, that God would be the glory inside of it and Christ will be the light in the what? In the new Jerusalem. So this is where the Father is saying. So this is the Father himself that is resting by the power of the spirit upon every work of your hands so everything in this hour you know you've done the work now the glory of the lord is resting upon it remember there is a dimension in the bible in the in the book of first kings i believe there about it says that what after solomon finished building the temple so now you can see for some of you like i said your assignment where you are is completely finished you finished your assignment you know in that place of uh, your business in which you've been writing you finished finished it, the song, you finished it, the book, you finished it, your, your ministry, you've started it, you've continued to do what the Lord is calling you to do. He said, for now, you finished it. And now you begin to understand that his glory is now resting upon all that you have done because he's satisfied with everything that you've done. He's pleased with it. And because he said, my glory is resting upon it, that means the father is pleased with the work of your hands. So now it is the glory that will begin to announce everything that it is about you. Where do we see this in the scripture? I'm trusting a lot of us have been reading that scripture time and time again in the book of what? Isaiah and chapter 60. And it says that what? Arise, shine, for your light has come and the glory of the Lord rises upon you. The glory rises upon. So you can see the vision. The glory was upon the field. And the Lord is saying, upon the works of your hands, the glory is resting upon you because you have found favor with God. To God be the glory. Look at the dimension. So as the acceleration is upon you, the glory is rising upon you. How, how can you be hidden? This is where the world will continue to witness the goodness and the greatness that is inside of you. Because you know why? You, my brother, you my sister, you are unstoppable. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Yes, you are completely unstoppable. So this is where the Father is saying, for everything you've done, my glory is upon you. So this is the hour that you are going to see the difference between those who belong to God and who have been obedient to him and those who have been doing things for the sake of doing it. The glory is setting them apart. Should I repeat that again? In this hour, for those who have been walking in obedience with the Lord, and for those who have been doing things, yes, in the manner that they, plead, they think is pleasing to the Father, this is where the glory is setting them apart. They went ahead of you, right? But you were patient. They were basically making more, but you were patient. You know, other people were getting promoted, but you were patient. But now the glory is accelerating everything that concerns you. Because who? Revelation chapter 21. He says, God is the glory and Christ is the light. Who is Christ? You are. And God, the glory, is resting on you to bring acceleration to that in which he has spoken concerning you. Be blessed in the presence of the Lord. Do you see it? Be blessed in the presence of the Lord because you are his blessing. So I bless you with this word in the name of Jesus. And as you go forth, you know, I pray that the Lord will continue to uphold you, continue to be with you, strengthen you, and empower the work of your hands. You are beautiful. You are amazing. You are wonderful and you are excellent. That is who you are. You are perfect in all of your ways. And that is why you're going from glory onto glory. Don't let anyone tell you of less of who you are, because you're greater than what they think about you. In Jesus' name, amen. I love you all. Stay blessed in the presence of the Most High God. I bless you with this word. In Jesus' name, amen.